Good morning. I'm Dave Saunders, and I'm uh, here to talk to you about the, generally about the district attorney's office. Um, I should begin by telling you I'm not an attorney. I'm the chief of investigators of the DA's office, so I'm a peace officer. Um, but I'm also part of the management team there, so I'm real comfortable talking about the different roles at the DA's office. Um, before I begin, I want to drive the point home on the value of that intro that uh, Ann gave and Dr. Uh, Mahoney. If you are just kind of taking it all in and you're going to go for a job interview, this is, I understand, video recorded. Pay attention to the, the, what he was saying about job interviews. I have not heard a better one. I mean, everything that he said is right on. I give job interviews often and spot on. So that, that's important. Um, I also, I'm really excited about being here because it was about 25 years ago I was in this situation. I was going to City College and graduated from local high schools. Oh man, what am I going to do? And uh, I, so I, I appreciate it. It is a tough time in life. And um, so the fact that you're here is really important. And um, somebody wise told me recently, you know, life's not that hard once you figure out what you want and need. The hard part's really figuring out what you want and need. So, uh, I really encourage the, the, the process that you're going through. Um, I've got some handouts here. The, Dr. Mahoney mentioned job descriptions. I had run off the job descriptions for some of the key jobs in our organization, deputy district attorney, uh, legal office professional, and DA investigator. There are other jobs uh, that are really critical functions in our office, victim advocates, and that sort of thing. But um, he brings up a good point. If you want to know what a job's all about, go to the website. Uh, usually it's often at human resources and uh, it'll tell you specifically uh, what the job's about and what the entry requirements are all about. Um, in our office there's a lot more going on than just uh, attorneys. Um, there's a, a huge support staff. Uh, in order to be an attorney in our office you need to be uh, past the bar and uh, most people think that you need a bachelor's degree to go to law school. You don't. In fact, there's some really outstanding attorneys in our office who have a two-year degree, went to the Santa Barbara College of Law, volunteered in our office, got their foot in their door, and they're really good trial attorneys. Um, one of which uh, is Christy Stanley, who was the DA up until uh, stepping down for health reasons recently. So just something to tuck in the back of your mind. Um, our office has a very good and a long-standing uh, working relationship with Santa Barbara College of Law. A lot of people that graduate from there come to our office to work. Um, we're a small organization, so I can speak to what's happening in Santa Barbara, but uh, <coughs> if you're interested in a career with our office, uh, volunteer work goes a long way. We're really picky on who we choose to join our office, so when people come in, and volunteer, we get a good look at them. And uh, one thing I've learned is uh, once you establish a good <coughs> reputation, it's hard to lose it. I mean, you can suffer a couple of setbacks. And once you suffer, once you <laughs> establish a bad reputation, that's hard to shake too. So um, as you're moving forward, the best piece of advice I could give you, make good decisions. If uh, the things that'll wash you out in backgrounds, and they'll talk to Dave, and, uh, Dan will talk more about that, but um, drug use, um, get in trouble with the law, that sort of thing. If you're kind of questioning that crowd that, uh, yeah, my friends, I grew up with them, but now might be the time to sever the ties with them and just uh, move on, you know what I mean. Um, we also have an intern program that I wanted to mention. There's some flyers up here. We have a lot of students from UCSB and from Westmont, none so far from, or one from City College. Um, people get college credits for working with us. They get a great uh, chance to look at what happens at a DA's office. We put them to work, serving subpoenas, preparing courtroom exhibits. Um, so please keep that in mind. Um, in terms of investigative spots, the, the division that I manage, we only hire experienced law enforcement officers. So there's really not an opportunity to join us as an investigator. Um, unless you've already been a detective at a local agency. Um, uh, we do have civilian investigators in our office, a few, which that's an exciting, interesting job. You don't need to go to the police academy. The job description's up here. It's uh, 
classified as legal office professional, but we load uh, those employees up with as much responsibility as they can handle. So we have some that are doing interviews, collecting evidence, um, preparing courtroom exhibits, and that sort of thing. So I know we got a lot of the presenters, but I, I want to leave you with this. I, I really do care about this community, and having worked in the system here for ooh, 24 years now, I have a pretty good feel for all of the organizations and that sort of thing. So um, if you ever want to just call somebody up and get a reality check or find out how something works and you want to hear a friendly voice, this is my phone number. I'm more than happy to help because I can appreciate where you all are. Uh, again, it's Dave Saunders, 568. Two, three, five, nine. More than happy to help out over again. Before our representative from Santa Barbara Police Department gets up here, let me say something about what Dave said about making decisions now if you plan on a career in law enforcement. I don't know, but I'm very, I'm pretty much, I'm 100% confident that if you ask any of these people up here that if you can go and apply to their, part, their department and show your medical marijuana card, they're going to say no. <laughs> and if you say, well, it's the law, they're going to say no. I'm just suggesting. 